Hello everybody, it's me again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, use the Jetson AGX Orin and the Z2 uh, camera, extract the depth data, what the object is, and uh, the, get the XY uh, pixel coordinates of the object. As you can see right here on the screen over here, I've got a sports ball, a cup, a bottle, and a teddy bear. They all, besides being, uh, have a square around them, a box around them, they also have targets on them. And if you notice, it's giving the, the measurements where they are. And up on the left, I have a, a, a program that's extracting that data. It says what it is, the cup, the teddy bear. And it shows the distance. And this is the uh, XY pixel uh, target of the spot right here and its location. I used a, a program and I'll show it to you that's a Z uh, from the Z github repo and uh, it, it'll show you how to do it and I'll, I'll show you the modifications I did to make it work so this information is being collected uh, uh, and sent to an MQTT server uh, the mosquito server and then it's dis being displayed out here so as you see like there's a cup there and if I move the cup forward you know, you can see that the measurements move forward and it also displays it up there, the cup and the distance and the XY target for like that circle. No matter what I do, you can see it, it moves. Like it's real time, as you can tell, this is real time. So what I've done was I've taken this and I'm going to give it, give you a link to all the stuff so you guys can do it all yourself if you want. I use this GitHub repo from Stereo Labs. I use this and I did all the setups to do it and then uh, what I did is to, to collect the data to collect this I've got a program running it's called quick HMI and I'll show you how to do a link to that and then this is the github repo of mine and uh, right here this is the uh, 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 program darknet Z that you're going to put into the file you download from the Stereo Labs, and this right here is the this program right here. In case you wanted to do that also, so basically what I've done is I've taken this Darknet Z uh, uh, Python program that you can download from the GitHub repo. Right here is Z Yolo. Z Python sample right here, darknet z.py, and I've modified it. What I've done is I basically added uh, uh, stuff to extract the data out and put it in an MQTT server so you could pick it up later. So that's what all this, like I say, I'm going to put a link to this. My GitHub repo has all this, and uh, it just shows everything I've added to their existing one. If you go to uh, let's see, Z Python sample. This is their GitHub repo, right there. Uh, Darknet Python sample. Darknet Z. All you do is drop mine into there, and it should run after you get this all set up. And then, uh, so like here's mine right here. But anyway. What I've done is, and there's instructions also here, how to set up this instructions on what's going on, how to set up the MQTT server, what you have to do. Um, these are all the instructions to do it, so if you want to do it yourself. But anyway, going back to this, like I set it all up, I took their program and modified it. And uh, down here is where I extract the data out and send it out to the MQTT server down here right here so once we go into the while loop this is what is a uh, 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 sh displaying the 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 objects the M show right here and I'm also sending out the MQTT messages I'm picking up all the objects I'm picking up the data um, the depth, the object, and the pixel coordinates, and I'm separating them and sending them to, to the MQTT server. And if there is none, I give it a zero. 
And then what I did here is where I added the uh, uh, the circle right here. That's the circle you see right here. So this this pretty much it. It's 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 pretty easy to do if you want to do it yourself. Like I say, uh, you know, it's this is a uh, you know it's just picking up the objects like 70 objects. It measures it, uh, sets the target on it. And uh, and it displays it up here. Like I say, it's being sent to an MQTT server, and uh, uh, from there you can extract it and use whatever you want. And I'm going to show you in a minute what 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 I'm doing is I'm actually extracting it and and running in this program right here, <coughs> and this this uh, quick HMI program, and it's actually sending it to a PLC. And I'll show you that in a second. So in real time, this uh, the data is being collected. Showing the object, the distance, the x, y pixel locations. So, and it's all doing it real time. So, I'm gonna everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the uh, uh, what it's doing is sending all this data to a PLC, and I'm gonna show you the quick HMI program and how it's working. Okay, as you can see, like uh, you can see, here's the PLC program. It's the RS Logics 5000. And you can see the information that's coming from the the program over there is being sent in here. The selection, what it is, the distance, the X Y target. This has been being sent in real time from the the program. And then what that is, it's this. This is the, the how I built that. What this program does. This is from uh, Quick HMI. It uh, extracts the data coming from the MQTT server. And puts it in here, and then also at the same time, it sends it right back out to the PLC. Like right here, uh, these are my two data sources. It's MQTT server, that's the address of uh, the AGX Orin, that's important, you got to have that, or it won't know where to target. And then right here, this is the Allen Bradley. And this is the the IP address of the uh, it's uh, my control logics processor right there. And do a connection test. It says that's good. So that's that's where I'm collecting the data. And then like for example right here, um, this is the test output device. This is the the information that's being extracted from the MQTT server and being displayed. Have you noticed that up there? And if you go to actions here takes that takes it and sends it right back out and this is the tag from the uh, uh, that goes to the uh, Alan Bradley control logics right here so it takes the text with service in this text box and sends it to this tag like immediately and you see right here I can uh, run this from here this program is really nice because they have a free option where you can get one of these, run it for free. It runs the same program, but you get a dat one data for free. So you can see it's, it's, it, this is running. This is uh, showing what's going on. Like I say, the uh, the this uh, program is basically uh, a server that's running on the AGX Orin. So all you gotta do is target it, and you can pull it out right here. So. So we don't need that. Close that. So anyway, um, that's what all this is. I'm going to put this program in there. And I'm also going to send the program, the final uh, one that gets loaded into the uh, Quick HMI server on the, uh, the AGX Orin. So I'll send that link to that too. And now we're going to go back to the other program. Okay, so now we're back over here, the program running. So, like I say, I'm going to go ahead and put a link to all these uh, stuff. I'm going to put a link to uh, the Zed Yolo one, so you can this this so you can set it up. And now you say I'm going to give you, and here's my GitHub repo right here. I'll give you a link to that. You basically, once you get the this one set up, you'll take and drop take my darknet Zed dot py and drop it right there and where this one is so once you get this running and then you can drop mine in there it'll work but for get it to work correctly uh, you need to set up your uh, mosquito MQTT server and that's it right here this is all the instructions how to set it up 
So, and let's say, and then if you wanted to do the quick HMI, you know, you can do it here. You can uh, download and test it out here. I think you get one uh, data point for free. And like I say, I'll, inc I'll include those in my GitHub repo. They're right here. One is the final server program, and one is the, the, the program you can use and you can edit it. But that's about it. I mean, like I say, it's uh, it's pretty neat, and this is a uh, this all run in real time right here, so this is pretty good. What I like about this is I finally got a program. This is running. Uh, this isn't running DeepStream, by the way. This is running the Darknet full YOLO four, so that's pretty good. And it's it's already designed to the Darknet is already set up to use the Z two camera so uh that's good on its own so anyway so uh, good luck with that i, I hope you you guys like it bye